Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. See that object in the center? Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly track them. But the hydromimic monsters. Hmm. I have a contract and must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them and recover the relic. I should sleep on it. Take this! It's just a stone slab. But its design is quite unique. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that! What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you! You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? This also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Oh... What a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. <laughs> oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? <laughs> it should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich! Nonsense! I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya! I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down! Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? Why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So, unless you want to mess with the chi thing... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. <laughs> see? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. Huh. <sighs> Alright then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Salterai next. I heard that Salterai was once the home of the God of Salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there are sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. Ah, oh, that's just great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. About that, I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, 
which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. Nobody has been able to break the seal. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but when I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. I don't know, there's no concrete evidence, but I'm pretty sure the seal is meant to hide some kind of long-forgotten truth. The God of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. So, the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if the seal isn't broken. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhang Li may not know all of its secrets. I may know something about it. Wh what Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhang Li says so, follow me then. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the God of Salt. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. <sighs> See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Uh, another? Let me lead the way from here. This place seems familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. Otherwise, the seal will not be broken. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liu is vast. Yet even one haven is hard to find. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? I, I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the God of Salt. To provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War, this benevolent God searched all across Liyue. At that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even one sliver of peace was a luxury. And that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. How sad, then. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by Morax. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Whatever happened doesn't matter as long as we can get inside that ruin. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle.
Here, let me help you. Yep. Zhongli is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. Now, it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. What is it? I propose you to agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. I, I, I can't accept this. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay then, even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Shangli. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly, even if the truth harms Morax's image. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, let's go.